Hello and welcome back to my channel where you'll find all things cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle. Today's video is all about how to do the DIY disco letters for weddings, birthdays, and parties. I'm so excited about these. These were something that I saw on TikTok and knew I wanted to do for my wedding. I think someone actually used them for a bachelorette party, but they can be used so many ways. It's such a great way to elevate any party or celebration, and it's an awesome way to save money and do it yourself. So let's get into it. First things first, you're gonna need these disco strips. I got these on Amazon. They come in different quantities as well as a bunch of colors so you can kind of mix it up and do what you wanna do. I went with the classic silver. They come in some like heavy duty packaging and they were pretty heavy. I don't know what I was expecting when I purchased these, but they are real glass. They are real little pieces of like mirrored disco. So they do have some weight to them, which at first I wasn't sure if I liked that, but then I realized how much I appreciated it because it does add like some weight and sturdiness to the letters once you apply them so that's definitely a plus with that being said obviously I had to use these with caution um, when I was like cutting them and folding them and whatnot but it was very simple very easy to use once I finally got them unwrapped you can see here they come in a bunch of sheets which is also really nice so that you're not having to like break apart glass they are pretty bendable actually which is nice for folding over the letters you can kind of mold them how you need them to be and they also come with like the little adhesive strips on the back so when you're ready to use them you obviously just peel the back off and you're ready to stick them on and it is a pretty strong adhesive so they do stick very well the next important piece is obviously the letters. I also got these on Amazon. They come in three different sizes. I went with the 24 inch jumbo size. They've got a good amount of thickness to them. Obviously they are foam letters, so they're very lightweight and easy to use, which is again why I appreciated the weight of the disco strips. And it really is as easy as it looks. You just peel the adhesive strip off and start placing them on the letters. And you wanna be sure that you're really lining them up. So you can see here that I am taking my time because like I said, they do stick and so you really want to make sure you line it up well before you press it on because it's not going to come off easily which is great but you just want to get it right the first time so a little bit of prep goes a long way in lining these up and I will admit that this is my first letter. I didn't have a lot of strategy going in in terms of placement, and I wish I would have. I'm showing you here the O, which I think was a little bit of a better job. You can see there are like some seams if you look closely, and instead of doing everything to one side, I kind of had the seams in the middle here so that it wasn't very obvious when you're looking at it from afar. And then you can see on the corners here, we laid a piece across and then just pulled out the individual tiles to make it look rounded. So that ended up working really well for rounded pieces, but but yeah, again, just a little bit of placement preparation ahead of time is super helpful for making them look nice. They're not going to be crazy perfect because of course they are in different pieces, but it is a little bit easy to hide the seams if you strategize. And then here you can see that I am actually folding it over the corner. They're very easy to fold against the seams to avoid having to like cut pieces and just use them as you need them. And then you can also see here, I'm going to tear a piece of it off because I don't want to cover the backs of these. And so it is also pretty easy to tear along the little seams once that adhesive strip is off. And then you can just press it down and it's very, very easy to do and that'll save you a ton of time of trying to cut the perfect strips i just recommend folding them over the edge wherever you can it also looks really nice on the edges when you do that but here i am just kind of finishing up the bottom pieces again it's kind of like a learn as you go thing you'll kind of figure out what method works best for you but here is how it looks when it is all complete I ended up not covering the backs just because I didn't feel like doing it, but of course, depending on where or how you're gonna use these, you could absolutely cover all sides of them, but they are nice and heavy once they have all of this disco on, all of this disco, all of these mirrored pieces on them. And if you're using them for weddings, you could do like first initials of each spouse like we're doing here. We're also gonna do our full last name, which is really fun. There's a lot of ways that you can use these and customize them based on what event you're having. But overall, they're such an awesome piece. They're so elevated, especially if you're doing them on the dance floor like we are. They just will look so cool in the night. And if you wanna try these yourself, I will link the products that I used below. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments.